over your neck. The following contains content that this human behind me does not own personally. Content such as music, videos, sounds, images, and all that jazz. So please, give my human a break and, and let her enjoy what she does. Seriously. That's it. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Freelancer Amber, and welcome back to another episode of... I almost fucked up the intro. Nomad of Nowhere, Season 1, Episode 4. I almost said Ruby Chibi or Ruby. Anyway, um, this is Episode 4, like I said. The Twindleweed Brothers Traveling Circus. Interesting. Okay, um, the description reads, Nomad stumble stumbles upon a traveling circus, or rather, it stumbled upon him. By chance, Scout and Toth also happen to be enjoying the festivities. And things get, get even worse when all the performances are former bounty hunters to boot. At least they, at least they serve cotton candy. <laughs> oh my god. So I kind of recorded this a day late because after I streamed my Kingdom Hearts, well, after my fart, my burning, fiery, infernal rage against Chain of Memories, I just decided to skip to Kingdom Hearts 2. So after I streamed, I was just, I was about to record, um, no matter nowhere, but then we, my family and I went out to dinner, and while we were waiting for our turn for, because we were getting pizza, and while we were waiting, we went to Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble, I got me two books. One, if you see my tweet, the Ruby manga. I finally got it. And the other one, because I've been dying to get this manga for so long, Pokemon Adventures. And later on, because there are other mangas that really I really want to get, such as Akamega Kill, um, My Hero Academia, and oddly enough, The Legend of Zelda manga. I mean, even though I never played any of the other Legend of Zelda games, well, except for maybe one. I think it was, um, uh, what was it? Uh, it was a DS game with, uh, Toon Link, or Kid Link. Um, I don't remember, but, but it has that, you know, that weird dude... The, the, you know, the guy that, that's kind of like our traveling companion. I don't remember his name, but you get what I mean. But anyway, like I said, since I never played any of the other Zelda games, uh, the manga might help me, like, you know, catch up on, like, the story or, like, the canonist, the canonicity of, of the franchise. But yeah, the, but yeah, so I'm gonna slowly build up my collection uh, of those mangas. But anyway, um, Anyway, that that's all I want. That's all I wanted to say. So I really don't have anything else. Don't know what else. So let the Western fantasy begin in three, two, one. <laughs> that's a cutie. Oh. Oi. Okay. Aww. Ow. What? 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 Okay. The Twindleweed Brothers Traveling Circus is open for business. Oh no. <laughs> Aww. Come one, come all, and witness the most magical show in nowhere. Oh, and magical! Don't forget to purchase commemorative merchandise available at all exits, entrances, and outhouses. Magic. Oh, he must believe that there are people like him. Ain't this just the liveliest oh. thing ever did see? They just Why missed him. Why are we wasting our time here, Scout? Well, cause it's fun, silly. <laughs> uh, and because I think you're pushing yourself too hard. Oh. You need to relax sometimes, Toth. This place might make you feel better. We've been searching for the Nomad for weeks and ain't seen hot or head of him. That's gotta be upsetting. You probably, I'm probably, I was probably a little too uh, harsh on Toss last episode. Folk have seen him on their journey. Couldn't hurt to stick around and ask. And they've got cotton candy. I'm gonna go for hmm. some cotton candy. I suppose we could try to gather some information. And I do like cotton candy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, I was a little too harsh on Toss last episode. I mean, I gotta understand that she had to follow Ladies rules and, and all. Boys and girls, pay oh, just now about! Myself, my name is Bailey Twindleweed, your master of ceremonies. I wonder who's gonna- I wonder who voiced him. Oh, he can't clap. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're a wonderful He audience. can't clap. 
But wait. But I've seen changing any like I sense a traitor is in our midst. <gasps> oh. Yes, my dear friends, though I do not intend to rouse a panic. I'm afraid this is no ordinary fiend, but the fabled no man of nowhere. <gasps> uh oh. What? That's right. The sinister wanderer of legend. Scout. This is it. What? To bring oh. To life in defiance of the <laughs> and praise upon oh. the innocent with his unholy triggery. Yeah. If no. If only there was someone brave enough in the audience to stand up to such a villainous ne'er do well. You, sir. Oh no. Do you think you have what it takes to protect these good people? Nonsense. Uh oh. Oh no. Let's give our hero a round of applause. Do it, uh, kid. Just play along. This is about to get good. Oh no! This is it. Oh, He's yeah, here. I knew. Yeah, I thought. I, I, no I thought as much. Watch out, brave fighter, lest you be thwarted by his dark magic. My word! Are you? <laughs> oh Who my God! He ain't having any of it. Kill Joy. Um. Um. Bertha, the bearded strong lady. Okay. Oh. Lazarus the lizard team. Oh. And Trixie the trick shooter. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Twindleweed's phenomenal four. Trademark. Oh. Come on, kid, you're killing the mood. Clap for Pete's sake. Oh no. Oh no. Dark magic! Magic? 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 The nomad of nowhere. He's real and he's here? You were right, Scout. This place is making me feel better. Oh. Yay? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety, please evacuate immediately. No refunds will be offered. What the? Where'd he go? Run, boy! Oh! Easy there, hombre. This show ain't over yet. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, no! What? Okay. Pop! Oh! Oh, no. Sorry, fella, but you never had a chance. You see? The phenomenal 4-H of circus performers, they're ex-bounty hunters, too. Yeah, that's what... to pad out the resume. Bailey called me a real three-for-one hire. Shut your hot dog holsters. Not so fast. I have a proposition for you. Who are you? I am Captain Toth, right hand to Don Paragon. And if you turn over the Nomad to me, I'll ensure we are all rewarded appropriately. All? Lady, we captured him without any of your help. We ain't letting no middleman get in the way of our reward. Damn! We already gotta split all our profits five ways. Though I guess that's better since we lost the human cannonball. Rest in peace, Harry, wherever you landed. Oh, uh, let me rephrase. Got the X. If you don't hand over the nomad, then we're going to have a problem. Now, hold on, everyone. Why don't we all calm down and talk this out over some cotton candy? Talking isn't exactly our style. Well, that's one thing we can agree on. <laughs> okay, okay, but what if it was all our styles? Like, collectively. I just feel like together we could... Honey, I don't like the ways you're talking down to us. Why do you what? think we have a No, ma'am. Oh, no. Oh, Yay. Lost it. Yay! Excuse me! Excuse me! Lazarus! Shut her up! Oh no. Don't you dare! Oh! Oh! What? The irony! The irony! Oh no, you don't! Oh! Oh! Fill him full of lead! Easy! <laughs> Pro clown props. Uh, um. One, two, three. Like shooting an idiot in a barrel. Oh, he's counting how many shots he she used. Yep. 
Yeah. What? <laughs> Get back here, you little varmints. Yay. Stop right there, Mr. No Man. <laughs> oh. Get over here, little man. Hey. Bye. Where do you think you're going? Run, buddy. Or climb. Oh. Come to mama. Ew, I don't wanna. Hey, that ain't fighting fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh. Yay! Get free. Okay. Goodbye. No, 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 wait! <laughs> Bye. Nomad. Ooh. You and I have unfinished business. Oh, no, you don't. That's our money you're talking to. Our livelihood. Can we please just work together? <laughs> What? Uh, what was that? I don't need to work with nobody so long as I got nobody's working for me. Oh. Now get me that. Hey! <laughs> ah, busted. I thought you said we were hardly making ends meet. Looks like Bailey's been holding out on us. <laughs> hey, talk! How about we work together? Oh, now you want to? Oh, wait, wait a minute, gang! What are you doing? Put me down, okay? B put me down! Stop! Um, does this mean we can take the Nomad now? I think we've got all the rewards we need right here. You mean taking the boss's gold, or firing the boss from the cannon? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yay. Oh, it's got a traveling companion. No. Oh. No. We had the nomad right where we wanted him. I'm sorry, tall. But at least we got cotton candy. <laughs> Aw. Aw. How cute. Okay, now let's see who's voicing this time. All right. Uh, Twindleweed, Larry... Matovina? I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. Okay, got the... Anna Hullum's Trixie? Holy shit! Matt Hullum as Birth Oh my god! Wow! Okay, uh, Lazarus, uh, Rico... I've seen that name before. I I don't remember where... Where I've seen that name. Uh, but... Ja, but... Jardo? Whatever. Or Vajardo? I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names. Uh, random woman, I guess the one holding the popcorn. Uh, Alina Lekorchik. Anyone else? Okay, then that's it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 50 friggin' years. Oh, that was that, that was a cool little outro thing right there. I and was that? I I couldn't tell, but I saw references blue there. I don't know if that was from season fifteen or is that if that was season that's gonna be season sixteen. I just saw um something from Genlock. I'm pretty sure it was something from Genlock. That's still pretty cool. So this is still a really cool episode. So like I was saying, like in like some in the beginning of it, um, I I was probably a little too harsh on Toth last episode because uh, she wasn't like very sympathetic, but she can be sympathetic to, to to a degree, but she but she's a stickler for following the following the rules and and all that. Um, uh, and I mean she's not in 
not, she's not entirely bad. She just, she, well, I don't know how else to explain. She's just not entirely that bad. She just has to follow the rules and, and, and all that. So yeah, I was probably a little too harsh on her. She might, she might do some good maybe in later episodes. But this also is a cool episode. Like, like a really, really comedic right there. And like how the, the circus is like, how they're portraying the nomad. Like, and the nomad's like, really dude? That's how you see me? Well, I guess for, since, since they first now discover, rediscovered the nomad from the, back in the first episode, that's how the, that's how they interpreted him. And so now, so there's no glowing, um, so there's no glowing for, like, what happened in the last episode. So, find it, I find it funny to believe that husband and wife, Matt and Anna, are in this. And well, not, not funny, just really cool. Uh, well, really don't know how else to explain this. I really don't. So... Yeah, so this is just still just a cool episode and all that. So I now I don't have anything else to say other than hope you enjoy this and I can't wait for Red vs. Blue season sixteen to come out. Did this say was it did this say it was the fifteenth or the sixteenth? I think it was the fifteenth, because you know it's the fifteenth anniversary. Uh, uh like this e this will be the fifth this is the fifteenth anniversary since both Rooster Teeth and Red vs. Blue were created. So anyway, I can't wait for that. I can't wait to react. It's been so long since season 15. Yeah, I'm like, I'm kind of losing my train of thought right now. So now I don't have anything else to say. So until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts of this episode in the comment section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and fist bump that like button. And if you really like this video and what I do in general, go ahead and subscribe. Also remember to hit that bell button to be notified of my latest reactions. And follow me on Twitter at FreelanceEmber for pretty much the same thing or just random shit in general. And I'm still wondering if I should start a Patreon page. I really, I really, I'm really conflicted about that. So remember to stay awesome, be nice to animals, don't be dicks, keep moving forward. And I will see you all in the next video! Thank you